open it. Hi Malcolm, what are we looking at here? Well, uh, we're looking at a uh, generator that's uh, it's operational, supplies power to the grid. Uh, and so, uh, and this, uh, for our purposes, uh, this port here is a sampling of the gases, the exhaust gases coming from this generator. So this is, uh, runs at, uh, well, three different levels. I think that we've been running it at uh, for test work is uh, 200, uh, 250, uh, but it goes up to 300 uh, uh, kilowatts. And so, uh, and at those different loadings, we actually take the change in the uh, under load of the uh, exhaust gases coming out with and without our technology engaged or with and without the bubble engaged. Now, because this is a new configuration that uh, is a new concept, instead of changing, altering the motor by putting a Venturi in uh, just between the, uh, the uh, carburetor or where the fuel's uh, introduced, which in this case is uh, mains gas, methane, and so that fuel uh, well, is is metered and monitored, so we can get a a uh, through our run period, we can get a, uh, a an absolute figure of the consumption of the engine of the gas compared with and without our technology, and also with and without the uh, technology, we will see any change in the composition of the gas coming out of the engine and. Uh, um, as I said, with and without technology, which in this case is really comes down to with the bubbler running or without the bubbler running. Uh, there is an effect, a difference in, in composition between the gases coming out here, because these exhaust gases run through a thunderstorm generator and subject to the dueling tornadoes and subject to uh, the effects of that. And so there is a difference in all our test work between the gas coming out directly from the motor and the, uh, the uh, gas coming out of the exhaust pipe with one caveat, after you run it for a long period of time, we do have uh, the motor itself embedded with plasmoids which then acts in the same way and reduces the pollution of the motor, specifically reducing the amount of carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, and uh, hydrocarbons in the exhaust. Uh, the uh, carbon disappears proportionately to the appearance of oxygen. And so that's what we're looking at. And uh, in this case, uh, from the uh, analysis that we've had on the uh, Kane gas monitor, uh, that it appears that the uh, carbon monoxide uh, at the moment is disappearing and 50% reduction in carbon dioxide, 50% increase in oxygen. So, and that proportion seems to be consistent throughout all our test work in the last eight years, whether it's a jet turbine or whether it's a, a, a Caterpillar uh, V8 or a uh, Ford Falcon car, or well, the Ford Falcon was actually a better result um, uh, in the sense that it zeroed out everything. But, um, uh, except the oxygen went back to atmospheric levels. So um, that is one test result that is good, uh, but that's got a computer control system as well, as this motor does, So, uh, but we did tune that to the technology. So in this case, we're just gonna uh, run this, uh, demonstrate the operation of the bubbler, demonstrate the, uh, and uh, display the in and out of the technology, what goes in, to the engine, what comes out, and uh, and it, and also record the gas analysis for those uh, different tests: bubbler on, bubbler off, what's in, what's out. Thank you, Malcolm. Well, what's, what's the device that you've got on the back end of that over there? Uh, over here. What's that? The this is this is all your okay. technology. We've got the gas coming in in the. No, no, no. no the, the gas is our technology comes in from, uh, you might be better off, 
better served coming around the other side. Yeah. But that's the inlet of our mixture of uh, air, natural yeah. air, uh, and uh, the uh, what's coming out of the bubbler process, which is water in its gas phase and plasmoids. And is that a specific type of colander? Yes, that's a, a, sieve. a, a very high quality uh, <laughs> Italian sieve. Italian or pasta. sieve. Yes. Yeah, it has to be yes. Italian because it's So a, is this pastafarian technology? Yes, that's yes. the one, yes. yes. And, so, and the herbs and spices come from the bubbler. <laughs> so let's go and have a look at the rest okay. of the equipment. So, and this is, uh, sorry, this is here. This is the gas. Mm -hmm. This introduces the gas mm -hmm. into the engine. Mm -hmm. Then that's mains gas coming from the, the mains. Yeah. So, uh, and that's methane, just dry gas. Yep. 